Good job, Tarek. My name is Bruce Gagnon. I live in Bath. I'm a member of Veterans for Peace. I'm a veteran from the uh, time of the Vietnam War. I was in the Air Force. I've been working uh, in the peace movement for many, many years now. And one of the issues that I've been most uh, working on is conversion of the military industrial complex. And because I live in Bath, and I remember that slogan, think globally, act locally, I say to myself, what is the best thing that I can do living in Bath, Maine? Well, it's to call attention to what uh, Tarek and Lisa before him said, that the military is the biggest polluter on the planet, that the Pentagon has the largest carbon boot, boot print on the entire planet. And so thus, if I really want to contribute to dealing with climate change, one thing that I can do is work for the conversion of Bath Ironworks, to move away from building warships that contribute to climate change and to chaos around the world, wars for oil, wars for fossil fuel control. So maybe if they were building at Bath Ironworks rail systems up and down the state of Maine, offshore wind turbines, we have the largest uh, it's capacity of wind in the entire United States, in the Gulf of Maine. Tidal power systems and other kind of sustainable technologies at Bath Ironworks. And the interesting thing is, is that UMass Amherst in the economics department and at Brown University in Rhode Island, for years they've been doing studies that show that conversion of a place like Bath Ironworks to sustainable technology development creates many more jobs. And all the politicians in every election year run around saying that, well, my God, we've got to create more jobs. We've got to bring more jobs. Well, here's the best way to do it. Convert the military industrial complex. You solve for peace. You solve for climate change. You solve for jobs and social justice. It's labor unions benefit. It's a win, win, win for everybody. So then why isn't there a coalition of peace groups, environmental groups, labor and social justice groups working on this demand to convert the military industrial complex, which benefits the effort to deal with climate change? Why is that not happening? Party politics, I would submit that if you ever go to a christening at Bath Ironworks, you'll see both Republicans and Democrats on their bended knees pledging their total subservience to the constant funding of the war machine. And the fact of the matter is, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, they're lined up with their hands out in Congress in Washington begging for more money to continue this same program. When instead they should be going to Washington and saying, you know what, the time has come for us to seriously deal with the climate change issue. We need uh, the funds that are now being wasted on more warships at Bath Ironworks. We need to be converting that facility and building rail and solar and wind and, and tidal power systems to really put a dent in the enormous carbon blueprint created by the military industrial complex. We should be demanding that collectively. Otherwise, friends, we're not going anywhere but down. Can't we see that? And so this is the work we're doing at Bath Ironworks. And we're asking and inviting all of you to begin to think about making this connection. We're not saying drop what you're doing and come and deal, uh, work with us, but begin to integrate the conversion message into your existing climate change work. Begin to talk about how the military is the biggest polluter on the planet. And until we convert the military industrial complex, we're not really gonna solve the problem of climate change. On October 6th, 
at 11.30 a.m., we'll have a protest on Washington Street in front of the administration building in Bath talking about these very issues. We invite you to come Saturday, October 6th and be with us. And at the next at the next christening that is anticipated to happen at BIW sometime before the end of this year, we have 50 people signed up who are going to do nonviolent civil disobedience at the time of the christening, making this whole point that we need to be converting the war machine, we need to be converting the manifestation of uh, the problem in our own state, in our own community. We can't keep ignoring the elephant in the middle of the room. Thank you for listening.